how tied is Nico or how tied is Josh Heupel to Nico? Does Nico Ia Male Ava have to be great, not just good, for Heupel to succeed? John, I'll ask you that question brought to you by Andy Mason, andymasonrealestate.com. Well, I think he needs to be very good um, for the next few years, certainly. But I don't think Josh Heupel's overall tenure at Tennessee necessarily will be defined by Nico. Uh, Go back to a different era 30 years ago, in fact, when uh, Philip Fulmer had Peyton Manning for four years. And how many national titles did he win with one of the greatest quarterbacks in the history of football? Do you remember, Dave? I do. I do remember that. Idols did did he win uh, with Peyton Goose? But he pulled out an SEC title in the second oh, half. Oh, yeah, outside. beat that, beat that awesome Auburn team. I remember that game. <laughs> it was great. Nice job. Uh, so he he won the next year with T. Martin. So the same thing. Maybe after Nico leaves, maybe Josh Heupel could have another a good quarterback and and do even better. But I I think where you look at it is the offense. If the offense doesn't flourish with Nico and Heupel together, then I think people will wonder because he's seemingly the ideal QB for this system. We saw Hendon Hooker was pretty close to the same thing, and we saw what he did in those two seasons. I mean, Tennessee, if Nico's as good as we expect him to be, and we, th- I, I think he's going to be great. Uh, so Tennessee should be in one of the top five scoring teams in the country. So that doesn't do anything for the defense. But I think if Tennessee struggles at all offensively, it will raise questions about Josh Heupel's system and his quarterback management. Okay. Uh, Caleb, your stance on this, I know you feel pretty strongly about Nico has to have success, right? Big, yes. big success. Yes. And to address John's comment about Peyton Manning, yes, he didn't win a national title, but I don't think anybody would deny that Peyton Manning was great when he played at Tennessee. I mean, uh, I mean, that 97 season is still to me the greatest season a quarterback has ever had in Tennessee history that last year he had. And I don't think Tennessee... I don't think Tennessee wins the national title in 1998 if Peyton Manning doesn't lay the foundation by being great for the years before, which helped him in recruiting and so many other things. Um, okay, no, 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 wait a second. You're getting a little soft on me, Caleb, because, <laughs> okay, I mean, what we were talking about yesterday was that you thought Tennessee was loading up for 2024. You didn't say that Nico has to be really good to elevate the program for a guy like T. Martin to come hey, in. Hey, you haven't you haven't let me finish. Okay, well, you I, haven't you, let me finish. When you, when you, for the when record, you start, when you start soft, sometimes it stays soft, and I get concerned. For the record, yeah. Peyton was his uh, guys. For, first off, relative to the time, Peyton was as great as you could possibly be in the '90s. It was not his fault that John Chavis could not figure out Steve Spurrier's fun and gun and gave up 62 points to Florida. In, in in a rain soaked swamp game okay that's not on peyton at all and so peyton was as great as you could possibly be at tennessee nico has to be as great as possible in josh hypo system now here's where i'm going so josh hypo system soft josh hypo system you were, you were telling me that you wait a minute on. i have to finish my point <laughs> Josh Heifel's system is so quarterback friendly, so built around the greatness of the quarterback that, yeah, Nico should be putting up gaudy stats if he's great, and he needs to win a Heisman. I'm just going to say it. He needs to win a Heisman. I don't, if, 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 if Josh Heifel can't win with Nico, he can't win with anybody because this is the best possible quarterback you could ever have for your system. And also, he's loading up for 2024. So if Nico's not great, Heupel's recruiting is going to really suffer after 2024. And so he has to be great. He absolutely has to be superb. He has to be, we have to be debating whether or not Nico or Peyton Manning is the greatest quarterback in Tennessee history after Nico's gone. John, <laughs> John, care to retort? I'm your huckleberry. Well, I, first of all, I want to compliment you on coaching Caleb up. Thanks. He, he got stronger as he went along. He did. He started. Yeah. He got yeah. Much better. Uh, yeah. I, um, no, I agree with that that part of it that you 
that this offense, this is the guy Tennessee handpicked. I mean, invested a lot in, okay? We don't know exactly how many pennies went into uh, Nico's piggy bank. Do they still have piggy banks? Does anybody have a piggy bank now? I mean, do they still have pennies? You know, I dropped one the other day and thought, oh, I'll pick this up. No, there's a greater chance of something going wrong if I reach down to pick the penny up. I'd do the yeah. same thing with quarters, actually, but we'll take that up another day. No, I just think, Nico. By the I way, mean, Travis just, says if you show up soft, you're just wasting hooker's time. Ooh, man. <laughs> Travis for the win. Travis for the win. <laughs> okay, that Go ahead. It's got me laughing so hard. I'm choked up. All right, go ahead. Well, no, and, and, and Mark points out he has to be hooker good. I mean, would that be okay with you, Caleb, if he puts up the same numbers as Hendon Hooker did? No, you want more. No. Uh, and was, Hendon Hooker in, was Hendon Hooker in New York? Because he wasn't. But he would have. He would have been. Yeah, would've. Yeah, but the Heisman, man, that's – that's so subjective. I mean, I've seen pretty good quarterbacks not make it there. But when you're talking about four guys, and there'll probably be at least three, maybe four quarterbacks, yeah, you would expect Nico to be there. So okay, let's let's talk realistic baseline because um Col uh Colton says, uh, Mark, you're right, and Nico needs to be hooker good. Dave Hooker good. Nailed that one. All right. So <laughs> what's baseline? What's what's the worst, Caleb? That let's forget about individual awards, like John said, because that is subjective. And the husband, I think even John would agree, has lost a lot of its luster over the past uh, since John's been uh, uh, voting on it way back in 1872. So yeah, I actually uh, voted for Johnny Majors. By the way, he didn't win the award. I thought. Did you really? Award. Yeah, it was really ridiculous. I well. In truth, I, I voted for Jim Brown. Oh, okay, but Major second. Jim Brown should have won that Heisman even over Majors, to be honest. If we look, I know at the he should have. I, I went, yeah. well, well, if you watched him play, how could you not? That and then I'm trying to think, and then I went off the uh, beaten path and picked uh, Doug. I voted for Doug Adkins, uh, a defensive lineman, an incredible athlete when he was at Tennessee for the Heisman. Okay, uh, okay. Going I'm further stopped. back, I'm um, stopped. Uh, stop. I'm like a red range. Cop. Ever hear a red yeah. range? I'm oh, like a tra I'm like a traffic cop when happy hour just let out. Okay, so I'm gonna be a traffic cop here. All right, Caleb, what's a baseline? What does Nico have to be have to do to be elite enough where you think he not only um held Josh Heupel's career up but boosted it to the next level? What does he have I team wise, mean team wise, not no no individual award. No, team wise, he's got to get Tennessee into the college football playoff. I'm going to say both years, and I think he needs to get to the semifinals at least one year. And even if he does that, I'll consider it a disappointment. He's a disappointment if he doesn't get a national title. But I will say he at least has to be in the playoff two years and in, in, in the final four once. And actually, Elias just pointed it out. John, I'm, I've said this. Nico to Josh Heupel is just like Cam Newton to Gus Malzahn, except Josh Heupel has him for two years, not one. And so this would be like if Gus Malzahn had Cam Newton for two years and not one. And I mean, uh, I'm that high. And, uh, well, and, and hmm? No, I'll let you finish. I'm not Dave. Go ahead. And okay. On, on the precipice, the only thing I would, um, I, I think you and Dave disagree on this. So I actually wanted to bring you down this rabbit hole a little bit because it is relevant to our topic, but um, cause I think Dave thought Danny Warfel would just didn't matter. And that any quarterback could have run Steve Spurrier system in that time. But from my understanding of retroactively reading press clippings and things like that from the mid nineties, wasn't Steve Spurrier's tenure at Florida pretty much tied to Danny Warfel being as great as he was when he took over in 93. He needed Danny Warfel to be that good for him to become the legend. He was, didn't he? I think Spurrier would have perhaps become a legend anyway, because his system was so good and his offensive system was kind of a, uh, defenses weren't ready for it in the SEC. He was ahead of the curve. But I think any offensive-minded coach has to find the perfect guy. In a best-case scenario, has to find the perfect guy for his system. He may not be the number one draft pick, but he may be the number one pick 
for your system. And that's what Steve Spurrier found in Danny Werfel. Okay. And it was, it was Bill Belichick and Tom Brady at the college level, really. 20 words, baseline, Caleb. What does Nico have to do to bolster <laughs> Josh Heupel's success? I already to, told you. He has to make the college football playoff twice. SEC? I don't think the, the SEC championship matters anymore because with the no divisions and 16 teams, I don't care yeah. about winning the SEC. I, John, I, I agree. Yeah, John, John agrees. Okay, that surprises me. It still means something to me, but maybe I'm just nostalgic. All right. Uh, brought to you by Andy Mason. Today's tough question. What does Nico have to do in order to bolster Josh Heupel's success? So we'll get John's answer. Andy Mason, AndyMasonRealEstate.com with over 40 years of combined experience, best service, best prices in the biz. AndyMasonRealEstate.com for all of your real estate needs any mason real estate.com all right john so what does he have to do for you sec level which apparently you, you don't carry a lot of weight in or college football playoff does he have to make it two times for this to be considered a success well if you go but again using paid manning as an example he he won one sec championship so if uh, if you could say if Nico made the playoff once, but the playoff now with 12 teams, no, I, I agree with Caleb on that. He needs to make the playoff both years. He's at his quarterback at Tennessee. I, right. I agree with, I mean, I think Tennessee needs to be always in really competing for the, uh, one of those playoff spots. I mean, if it's not, then the season just isn't a success. So, yeah, I think that's it. And, and you're talking strictly about team goals uh, as opposed to what he has to do individually, right? That yes, I think we're assuming he's lead, He's at the helm, um, and then that would be a good reflection on him and probably the Heisman consideration, those sorts of things would fall into place, right? Yeah, I mean, those. I think the, he, yeah, the Heisman, if they make the playoffs and Nico's as good as we think he'll be, I think we're all – pretty much on the same page there then yeah he will he will be one of the finalists at, at new york at new york so uh that's you know that i i guess things could happen to prevent this i mean he could miss a key game with an injury things of that nature that might but when i look at ut schedule when i look what it did in the portal when i look what ha it has returning uh it should be in the playoff next season or the season isn't successful. And so obviously Nico would have to be really good and would have to be really durable for that to happen. Okay. And now. to point out, I just want to throw it aside quick because we talk about playoff. Even if it was a four team playoff, if the four team playoff existed in the nineties, Peyton would have gotten there in 95 and 97 into a 14 playoff. Yep. So he would have gotten Three. there two or three years. Okay, uh, just for the record, if I, if I am the traffic director after Happy <laughs> Hour lets out, Caleb got there when Happy Hour opened. 